What's up, you guys? We are now in London. We just got gelato and got dinner. It's been quite a few days. I look a mess. Um, I haven't vlogged in a few days um, just because we're in London and I was working um, with my team and from the London office and it's been really busy and it's been such a long day. But today's Friday. I just got done with the work week and we checked into this hotel. What's it called? Zedwell. Zedwell, yeah. This is the Zedwell Hotel. It's really cute. These are called like cocoons. And some of the rooms, did you see on the website how they had like four of these in one room? No. And they had them like bunk beds with yeah, ladders. Bunk beds were cute. Yeah. So this is where we're staying tonight. We're like in the heart of London. It kind of looks like Times Square almost. Um, we're in Piccadilly. But yeah, this is both of our first times in London. So um, it's just a cute little hotel room though. We just went to dinner and we just came back. Got some gelato. But here's the bathroom. It's really cute. But it has been a really crazy couple of days. We had the worst experience at our last hotel, like on real. We got there, was that Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Wow, that feels like forever ago. Oh, so wow. yeah, so today's Friday. We got to our other hotel on Tuesday. My company booked it because it was right near the office and I was there for work. So they booked it, we show up and they literally- At 2.30. Yeah, 2.30, like right off the flight from Paris. We're walking, they're like, no. And we're like, what? <laughs> No, because your booking says it's for one uh, people, but you are two people. Yeah, he just kept saying, two people, two people, you you have two people. And we were like, what? And so basically, they wouldn't let us check in because the room was only booked for one person. Like, it was a single, like, twin bed. So he just kept saying, one people, two people, one people. And we were just like, what is going on? So we were literally, like, stuck for four hours. We didn't get into a hotel room until 7 o'clock. And we got there at 2.30. It was a mess. Like, we were on the phone with, like, I had my, um, like, a travel agent booked it. Like, we have a travel agent with our company. So, like, they book it all. And I didn't have, like, a reference number. So, we were, I was, like, on the phone trying to connect with, like, our travel agent. And it was literally just a mess. And... I was working and having meetings in the lobby. Yeah. It w oh. Um, we were like, we need a room. Like, she has to start working. And they were just like, uh, like, literally, they didn't even care. And then, like, we finally get into a room after, like, 7 o'clock. And I'm just like, we're heading out to dinner. And this woman just walks into our room. Like, literally didn't knock. We just hear the door open. And she walks in. She's like, oh, are the lights working? And we were like, what? Like, wh that is not normal. You don't just walk into someone's hotel room. <laughs> I literally, I, I stared there, I literally was like, uh, I literally stared at her, because it was not normal. She said, what if I was naked? Yeah, like, what if we were changing? Like, you can't just walk in, like, she didn't knock, like, that's just not normal. And then, like, then I was like, okay, it's been a long day, I just want to make, like, a cup of tea after my shower and relax. I go to get the tea out, and the mug is halfway full with, like, dirty old water, and there's, like, a biscuit inside. Wrapper. It's not like the cup was just washed and had a little water residue. No, like, it was this much water and like saltine crackers in a little package in the water. It was submerged, and I was like, I'm not even trying. Like this is just a mess. They had a nice tea assortment. I should have took some of the tea bags, but I didn't trust that hotel. And then like even my coworkers, they were checking in, had some had so much issues. It was it was a mess. So now we're happy to be at this cute place. But yeah, that's a little bit of what was going oh, on. Freaking yeah, out. I don't know why it's doing that. But the past couple of days I've been going to the office and working with the London team. It's been really amazing to meet them and um yeah, it's been really fun. And then today was honestly the longest day of my life. And we did a full day of shooting. So we were on set and with my company and I was shooting all day long for them and I was doing photo content and video content and it was really just a lot like I was it was the real deal like we booked a studio 
we had videographers we had photographers we had these huge bright lights i had like a mic attached it was literally the real deal it was just a really really long day like i was up at 5 30 this morning and we were at the scene or at the spot um on set i guess <laughs> at the crime scene at the that yeah it was uh, i'm really tired my brain was fried like these lights were so bright i couldn't even like think it was crazy but yeah we were there we got there at like eight o'clock and we didn't leave until like 5 30. so it was a really long day but now we finally get to relax um we just saw the gelato guy's bare butt <laughs> um and we went to dinner at the ivy i took a clip i'll probably insert it before this so you've probably already seen it but we went and got gelato and we're in our cute little hotel room. Oh, I, we should put down the, um, trying the candy. Uh oh Do you have room? I don't know. There's this one. We got, like, traditional candy because I was in my office and the coworkers were just, like, making fun of American candy. And I thought it was really funny. Because they were like, oh, you're, the chocolate in America leaves, like, a film on your mouth. Like, we don't use corn syrup here, which, you know, I believe. But... I got some stuff to try, like the traditional like dairy milk. And then I got some treats for my boyfriend because he loves gummies, but I'm gonna try these. Millions. I don't really know what it is, but it looked good, so we'll do a taste test. This is bubble gum. I don't know if it's gum or if it's like Oh. I don't smell anything. It smells like cotton candy, but... Oh. Oh, it's gum. That tiny, tasty, chewy, sweet. I think it's gum, though. Oh, what? It kind of has the consistency of like a starburst once you chew them all together. Okay. It's like hard at first. Mm -hmm. Right? Like starburst? Mm hmm. It's like sticky, like starburst. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Cheers, mate. Wow. That's it for the night. I had the longest day of my life. So, I'm gonna shower and get into this bed. It looks really comfy and cozy. And there's no lights in here, or no windows in here. So, we'll get a really good night of sleep. Guys, in our <laughs> <laughs> You're scaring me. Um, in our last hotel room, we were like in the city, which we're still in the city now, but there was like a huge street lamp, street light. <laughs> My brain is fried. Um, there was a big street light coming in, so it was really bright in the room, but there's no windows here, so okay, we need sleep. We'll check in in the morning. We only have one full day in London to explore. We've been here since Tuesday, but we've been working, so. Good morning, you guys. We had quite the night. Um, we were sleeping like peacefully at 2 a.m. And then all of a sudden, this huge alarm starts going off. Like, I can't even tell you how fast my heart was pounding. I literally fell out of the bed. Like, I flipped over and landed on the ground, like, was trying to stop it. It was blaring so loud. Like, it was terrifying. Like, I can't even explain it. An ear shattering siren. Yeah, like, I've never heard anything so loud. And we were like in a, we were sleeping. And I, I was like trying to like turn it off. And he was like, Olivia, like we were scared. Like we didn't know if something was wrong. It was, it was really horrible. Like my heart was pounding so fast. Um, 
and then we were trying to call the front desk to see like what was happening like if something was going wrong because we heard people in the hallway and we were like nervous but we survived uh still don't know what happened but we are heading to get coffee and then we're gonna go to the buckingham palace so i am wearing this cute little fit from gray bandit i have to shoot some pics for them today so um yeah full outfit from gray bandit so the sweater the blazer and then these leather pants kind of hard to see and then i have some docks so that's the look and i think i also might pop this on for some this little sherpa hat i feel like it could be cute so that is what we're doing and then um we are going to try to get into this one place called sketch that just looks really cool for lunch and then do some shopping um and then yeah i guess we'll see what we get up to we might do like a bus tour just because we only are here for one full day well we've been here like multiple days we've been here since tuesday but we haven't been able to like do touristy stuff because we've been working so we might do like a hop off hop on bus tour thing just so we can see everything once um and then we can go like and kind of choose which places we actually want to go visit like i know we want to do buckingham palace and i want to see like the london bridge but other than that like i was right next to the london eye the other night um and then i did a bus tour with um, a few of my co-workers the other night we did like the Christmas lights tour so I saw like basically everything already in all the Christmas lights like I saw Westminster Abbey I saw Big Ben like I saw Parliament like I've seen all of those things so now we might just do it again so Amy can see them all too and then kind of pick and choose where we want to go so that's the plan so far I will let you guys know what we get up to alright you guys we got our coif Yum. I got a huge Americano. I didn't think it would be this big because I've never seen a coffee this big over here. Um, but we're just walking around on our way to the Buckingham Palace. It's really beautiful with all the fall colors. It's so pretty. Oh, look at this view. So cute. We made it. And there's a new queen in town, baby. <laughs> But it's crazy to like be here in person, like you see so many pictures and like here we are. And then over there you can see the London Eye. But let me bring you in close to see the guards. Oh, that one just stomped. Oh, he's walking. Oh, this is so cool. How do they not laugh when they're doing that? <laughs> oh, do they just do that like every so often? Maybe they need the blood circulation. Back to his post. Oh, wow. Do they just like do their rounds sometime? Because this one over here isn't moving. Hi guys, I'm sorry. We have the same camera. Could you take a photo? Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm not. I'm at Abercrombie right now in the dressing room. I just tried on all of these jeans and nothing worked. They don't have, I guess I'm a zero in Abercrombie and nothing fit. So I got like the wrong size in almost everything. I got these sweatpants though. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get every, anything here, and it's like so expensive, especially with like the conversion. So probably won't get anything here. Doing some shopping. So, oh, we're doing another shot. Just taking some photos. Chloe. This is zoomed in, I think. Wanna be in this? Oh look at that. Oh, these lights are so pretty. So the place we wanted to eat, they said they did walk-ins. Oh that's Fendi Skims. Um 
They said, oh, you can make a reservation at the parlor. And I was like, and I was like oh, okay, is there any availability? Oh, I'm sorry, we're fully booked. I'm like, <laughs> okay. So the place we wanted to eat, we couldn't get in. So now we're just walking around, seeing if we can go eat somewhere else. And we saw someone with a Stradivarius bag. So we're heading there now, hopefully. But everything is all decorated. It's so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. All the lights. So cute. Love it. We're gonna get copyrighted for this music, but we came to this really cute little Italian place for dinner. We already tried one place and we were sitting there for like a half an hour before a server came over and then we got irritated and left. So we came here and this place is really cute. We had bruschetta, olives, and then I got this um, truffle and mushroom pasta. Amy got some seafood pasta, have a little bit of wine, and it's just really cute and cozy in here. It's definitely not like a touristy spot. I feel like it's a little hole in the wall. Here is a little taste test. Oh yeah. That's good. You guys, we're in free people right now. <laughs> Look how small. <laughs> what? What in the world would you fit in that? You couldn't even put a car holder. <laughs> Wait, and how much is it? Okay, it's $32. Well, 32 pounds, which is like $50. Oh my god. Okay, I wanted to come in here because I wanted to see if they had free people movement stuff, but I don't think they do. And free people is so expensive. But we also, well, I also changed my outfit and put on a puffer and these flowy pants because I was cold and we already shot the look, but <clears throat> now we're just doing some shopping around and I think we're going to Stradivarius now. Just got out of Stradivarius and you guys, look at these lights. That whole building was just lit up. I wonder if it'll go back in a second. It was so cool. Of course, the second I pull out my camera, it like turns off. But it is so pretty. There are also so many people. Oh, here it goes. So pretty. Oh, look at that. It's like pink and purple. So cute. <laughs> guys walking over the main bridge I don't know why it's not focusing but apparently this isn't called the London Bridge it's called the Tower Bridge but I think everyone just calls it London Bridge hold on let me let me pause so you can see it's really having trouble focusing all right here we go there is the shard tallest building in Europe and here is the bridge. I'm doing it. All right, you guys, it's bright and early. We're leaving the Zodwell Hotel and Ubering to the airport. Here we go. Goodbye, London.